What are you guys doing? This is really weird music. Yeah. What is it? Music. Oh, that is a speaker. Yes, I knew it. You knew it? Yeah, yes, me too. Hi. I was I was saying Hi! Hello! like 7.05 already. So might as well get this day started and do the usual. You guys already know. Check the scale, see where we're at for the day, and then we get rolling from there. If the scale ever turns on. So we are at 174.6 today, which I gained a little bit of weight last couple of days, just did some harder workouts, um, but now I'm back into the 174s, and let's do a body uh, check real quick. And with that 174, I do feel a lot leaner than I'm, uh, I have been in the last couple of days. So that's a good thing. Just keeping it going. Again, I gained a little bit of weight the last two days. Like I went up and the scale is just like a little factor. Of course, sodium comes into play, water intake and everything. But I gained a couple pounds. And I was like, what's going on? I kind of, I cut down to 2,700. So I just stayed the course and now I'm dropping weight again. So sometimes your body will kind of fluctuate. So you guys don't want to freak out when that does, you know, cause sometimes they'll freak out and cut a bunch of weight or cut, cut a bunch of calories. And that just doesn't do much for you guys. So breakfast number one, I already made it real quick. That's what we got. Cause I actually wanted to eat my food today cause I'm hungry. But I just did three fourths of a cup, one scoop one serving that'll be every day and then we'll take one multivitamin two fish oil pills and that will be our morning it's like 7 10 right now so we're gonna hit that we're gonna eat that and then get dressed and we're going to the gym we're hitting just shoulders today so it's purely just shoulders and some cardio and some abs let's do it on our way to the gym i just figured while I was driving i would give you guys a real quick update on how i'm feeling you know with with where I'm at, you know, I've lost 10 pounds. So we're down officially 10 pounds. It's been probably just over a month. So that's pretty exciting, you know, just staying consistent, eating very well, trying to stay on top of it as best we can, even though we have busy schedules and working. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, today I'm kind of feeling it. I worked, a, I had 18 hours yesterday. So that has really taken a hit on me. Today I slept till about 6.30, which, it's about, it's about 30 minutes later than I usually sleep just on my own when my body wakes up. So I'm pretty tired today. I really don't wanna hit this workout right now, but I don't really have a choice. So gonna go do it. Might have to even rush through it a little bit. Uh, I train Ron, one of my clients at 9.30 and it's currently like 7.15, but by the time I warm up, get going, it's usually been staying around the, the 45, uh, I mean, one hour to an hour 15. Um, so I might have to be a little quick, especially even with filming, it just takes longer. So we will get the best we can and just hit our hit our workout. But yeah, right now I'm just, I'm just kind of feeling it. I'm feeling dead, not a lot of energy this morning. I actually wanted to just stay in bed and sleep when I woke up, but decided I gotta get going and uh, start the day. Nothing good happens when you just lay around and wait for it. So we're gonna go hit it and try to liven things up. But like I said, we'll have Ron today and then pretty easy day. You know, I might have a chance to take a nap, which I might take advantage of today, which I haven't in the last couple of weeks. And then going to uh, be at Amore today. So that's, it's a pretty chill day. Nothing too crazy, but show you guys a full day eating. It's a, it's a lower carb day. So let's do it. 
time to hit those shoulders. So how I started off is I do shoulder press, but I do in the front and then also behind the neck. I do this because I want more time under tension. So I try to do 10 reps every single time I go or until I fail out. And then I superset this with lateral raises. And how I like to do my shoulders is I like to do different parts of the shoulder. So if I do an anterior part like here on shoulder press, I'll go lateral with lateral raises. And then sometimes I'll do lateral and then go with the rear delt. But after that, we go into shoulder press on the machine, but I just use the single arm work. Keeping the arms up at all times, just again to keep more time under tension. And then I pair that with face pulls. And after the face pulls, I'm going to be going into upright row. Always try to go a little heavier on this, just again, because this is gonna be where you can add a little bit of a mass on that lateral movement. Then we're going to pair that with reverse flies on the pec deck machine. I try to go three sets of 20 just to get more reps because it is a smaller muscle group. And then what I do after that is then I'll do front raises, lateral raises, and reverse flies all in one movement. So I do 10 reps of each, and then I will give myself three sets, only giving myself a 30 second to one minute rest in between. After that, then I run the rack with lateral raises. So I start at 35. Again, the form's not gonna be the greatest because you're starting heavier, but you just grab a weight, you do it until you can't do any more, and then you go to the next weights underneath that. So start with 35s, go to 30s, 25s, and so on. That will do it for shoulders. So next I move on to a little tricep where I do abs, I'm doing windshield wipers, and then I'm going into bicep single arm curl on the cable just to do a little bit of isolation work since this was a lot of pulling, the bicep got a good pump. So I just add a little more emphasis on the bicep and then ending with calf races. So I'm just gonna be going one minute of work and then I just repeat it all for four sets. Alrighty, you guys just finished up some abs and calves and then that little bit of biceps. So we're gonna go do 15 minutes on the treadmill, 3.2 with the speed and climb all the way up to 15. Do that for 15 minutes and then we gotta go train run. All right, you guys, you are actually in my trunk right now because I had a feeling I was gonna cut it a little close, so I brought some food with me. So just canned tuna, because it's fast, good protein, a banana. That's gonna be my snack before I go train Ron. So I'm gonna get ready and go train him right now. I got about 20 minutes before I have to be there. So I just, I always come prepared. You know, I didn't know if I was gonna make it and I end up not. So that's gonna be snack or meal number two. And we're gonna go get train Ron and we're gonna get it going for the day. A tip, I always leave plastic forks in my uh, car because I'm always eating. So, again, not the best tasting thing, plain tuna, but I eat it so much I'm starting to get used to it. No, I'm not. No. Oh. As we are on our way to go meet Ron, I just wanted to do a little video just about like how I'm feeling now. You know, I told you guys at the beginning, oh, felt like death. Wasn't really feeling it. Now I'm just alive. And that's a lot of times what happens when you guys get a good workout in, at least for me. You get those endorphins going, you get the blood flowing. Uh, your brain just gets un un uh, frog. <laughs> unfogged for the day. And so it just makes you feel so much better with life. And so I just want to encourage you guys, you know, when you're not feeling it, still get yourself to the gym because most of the time afterwards, you're never going to regret it. I, I've honestly, every morning I've ever woke up that I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. There's never been a morning I have regretted going to the gym because I always feel amazing afterwards. My motivational segment, I of course listened to my motivational videos after my workout while I was doing cardio and heard another piece of advice that was just oh, so good. And it's own yourself, own who you are, own all your mistakes, your flaws, and all the good things about you. So many times, especially just living in this business world that I'm starting to experience, so many people don't keep their word and it, it blows my mind. Like if you say you're gonna do something or you're gonna say you're gonna do a job, you gotta do it. Like it doesn't make any sense. And it's so easy to get into that blame game where we just blame other people for all our mistakes or if we didn't wanna do something but it doesn't get you anywhere in life. So if you guys really wanna be successful in the job, in your job or in just life or whatever you're doing, you guys gotta own everything. You gotta own the good about you and you gotta own the bad. And if you mess up, you gotta, you gotta take that and you gotta swallow it and be like, yeah, I messed up and take whatever comes with it. But again, I, I promise you more people will respect you if you always own up to your mistakes rather than if you're always gonna be putting it off and taking the coward's way out. So little piece of advice, always own up to who you are, no matter the good or the bad, and little, little words of encouragement of the day. 
since it is a lower carbohydrate day, I am going to have a couple handfuls of peanuts while I drive. And you guys are probably freaking out. No hands on the steering wheel. I'll work on that. But I use my knees. I'm pretty good knee driver. But yes, I'm going to have one handful of peanuts. So that will be the complete meal number two. And now you guys are about to meet Ron, who just kills it every single day. We are here at Amore. I just got done setting up what Ron is going to do today. He's actually going to hate me really bad because he hates that dang, oh, you can't even see it because my shadow. You can't, he hates that slam ball. So what I'm gonna make him do, five exercise, it's gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. He's gonna do slams, jacks, rows, lateral hurdles, and upright row. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, but I'm switching it up on him. I'm doing more of like a little bodybuilding style. So he has to do slams, four sets in a row before he can move on to jack. So it'll be four sets of slams at 40, 20, jacks, 40, 20, rows, 40, 20, lateral hurdles, 40, 20, upright rows, 40, 20. That will be the workout. And then he'll have to do a finisher where I'm gonna make him do 100 body weight squats in three minutes or less. Oh gosh. He's gonna be cursing my name, but that's why we do it. But this is where we just train. You know, Ron comes out here Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, he gets after it, like I said, and he absolutely just kills it. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of equipment, but that's what's really fun about this starting out, like being a, uh, being a trainer and being a good trainer. You have to work with what you got. So we can still get everything we need using a lot of body weight and just uh, minimal equipment. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. He should be showing up here any minute and you guys will meet the man, the myth, the legend, Ron. While we're waiting for Ron, I thought I would just comment, man, this beard and the mustache, it's coming in so good. I don't know, it kind of looks kind of gross. What do you guys think? Should I shave everything? Should I just leave the mustache, go back to just the mustache, or should I just shave the mustache and trim up on the beard? I don't know. Put down in the comment what you guys think because I think I need some help. The man, the myth, the legend, Ron is here. He's ready to kill this workout. Ron, how much have you lost so far since we've been working together? Um, right around 10 pounds. 10 pounds, and we've been going for like a month, so watch out. Instagram, we do a before and after photo. You won't even know. So we're gonna hit this workout, kill it, and we'll catch up with you. Here's Ron attacking the workout. He's going with the ball slams first. And then he's going to go into jacks afterwards. Again, he's just a hard worker. He's always giving it his all. He's been such a great client to train, and he, he never complains and just goes hard every single day. Here he's doing his back rows after the jacks, and then we actually threw in some lateral steps that he suggested. So always keep your clients happy. So we threw those in. Actually missed the upright row with the band, but then we finished off with 100 squats. He killed the time. And again, it's just getting him moving. That's what we're always focused on. He always does a great job. And here's what the end of the workout looked like. Just gave it his all and I loved it. Ron absolutely killed it. You know, he just comes in every single day, gives everything he has and just, he's seeing great results and I'm really proud of him. So it's so much fun training him. And that's another thing, just being a trainer. You know, you wanna train people that you, that you enjoy. So that's the most exciting for me is like, He's a dude I'd like to hang out with anyway. So it's a lot of fun. He kills it, like I said. So we are just going home now. I'm gonna grab some food. I'm still trying to decide what I want. It'll probably be some like potatoes, maybe eggs or chicken. I haven't decided what I want yet. And then just gonna do like some email things. Some of like you guys know, I do like my little business stuff, but I think I might actually take a walk today because it's so nice and I don't spend enough time outside on my like Thursdays and Fridays. So I think I might just take a little break after I eat and do a little bit of work today. and. I uh, do a little walk before I go to work tonight, but let's go home and cook some food. Prepping meal number three. So what it's going to be, one potato, cause it's a lower carbohydrate day. I'm gonna chop this up. Then I'm gonna have eggs. So I have 60 eggs or five dozen, and I will just make, I think five egg whites and two whole eggs. And people are like, why don't you just make the whole egg? Stop using the, uh, just the egg whites. Well. There's this thing called peanut butter that I love. So I'd much rather eat a couple scoops of peanut butter. And since today is my higher fat day, 
I get two, so I'm gonna do that and just uh, two whole eggs, five egg whites. Uh, and then I'm gonna just put this in a little bit of olive oil, add some seasoning, maybe add some peppers and onions. And that's going to be meal number three. We got the potatoes cooking. Now we are going to do the eggs. So how I do my egg whites, I've done this enough to where I'm getting somewhat okay to where I can just separate it without using any other devices. But if you guys ever need a quick tip on how to do that, I have a video on my YouTube using a water bottle how to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. So just check out one of my playlists on YouTube and you guys will be able to find us under the nutrition tab. That great tip on how to get just the egg white and the egg yolk separated using just a water bottle. But we are gonna just do five egg whites, two whole eggs for a total of seven eggs. Once the potato's done, I will throw that on. That will be meal number three, but then I'll add either one or two scoops of just peanut butter just by the spoon because I like the taste of it by itself. And that will put us good for meal number three. done so I'm going to eat this real quick and then like I said depending on how hungry I am we'll grab some peanut butter so I'm going to smoke this I'm so hungry do that and then a little bit of work after this I ended up only having one scoop of peanut butter just so you all know now that I'm in my bed doing my work stuff everyone's like what the heck are you doing in your bed I like to just chill and uh, do all my computer work but what I'm on is my fitness pal and so this is uh, actually the app I use to track my own food, but this is how I watch my clients and other people's food. So I have opportunities to be friends with them and then I can actually look straight into what they've logged, see their macros, see their calories, see everything they've been eating and what they've put in. And then I can make uh, suggestions on that. So that's what I'm just doing now. I just signed up for another website just to get my name out there. It's called Coach Up. So one of my clients, actually Ron told me about it. So signed up for that. Now I'm going to do, uh, do a blog after this for about kids fitness that I need to get out and then going to be doing some email stuff that I want to get set up just so it can be rolling and scheduled for that. So full day, but feeling pretty tired. I'm not going to lie. So I actually might take a little 45 minute nap here soon. And then it's about 12 o'clock, so we'll eat around 3-ish three, three before I go out to the field. Again, probably like some chicken and potatoes or something simple. But I'm going to do the rest of this work and maybe take a nap, and then you guys will see what's going on later. Well, you guys, I couldn't fall asleep. I really tried. I laid there for like an hour, and I'm still kind of tired, but I'm watching just some YouTube. I always like watching YouTube videos a, because I just enjoy them, but also just to like pick up really good things. And one of my favorites, actually, uh, Christian Guzman. I think he does an amazing job with his videos. And like, here's just like one of his like show day videos. And he's just a very successful entrepreneur in the fitness realm. He's like started a massive business, has several businesses, grows it, puts everything online, a great YouTuber. And so I really enjoy just watching Christian and hopefully one day I can go meet him. He's over in Texas. So that's kind of what I do when I'm not working. I just kind of watch, I do watch YouTube videos, but I try to like pick up things that I could uh, do better on my stuff. So we're going to get ready, eat some food and then go to Amore. I was kind of in a hurry to get over here to Amore. So I wanted to show you guys my food. I just made seven ounces of chicken, six ounces of potatoes and had a spoonful of peanut butter. Smashing this real quick because I got to set up in like 10 minutes to uh, do our SAQ, but it sounds like I might have like seven or eight kids. So it's really starting to grow and take off. Super excited about that. So I'm going to smash this real quick and then we're going to get going tonight at Amore. 
Just got all set up here. So what we're gonna make them start with is we're gonna go with ladders. I always make them go through a series of ladder drills just to really work on footwork. And then over here, I have poles set up behind me. And what it's gonna be working on, today's drill is gonna be accelerating and decelerating. So what they're gonna to have to do is they're gonna to have to sprint to, from this pole, they have to sprint to the middle one, stop on a dime, back pedal, back to the first pole and then sprint to the second pole and then back pedal. So what that's doing is again, changing our uh, where we're going vertically, forward, backwards. Also working on deceleration where they have to slow down, stop, then reverse. And also we just wanna really work on changing direction, break down and putting it all into one big movement. And then the last spot I'm gonna have them end in because today's only a 30 minute session. They do this before they get warmed up for practice is we're gonna go onto these boxes. And what I make them do with the boxes, I make them go over, I make them do vertical stuff, I make them do lateral stuff, really make them transferring weight, and that's what I'm really working on. And just being on their toes, so they have to really focus on it. So you'll see some of that coming up here in the drills. But yeah, it's really fun time. I'm really excited for these guys, and it's just, it's all coming together. So I'll show you guys uh, the clips of the workout. All right, we got malls going in. Actually, I know I said I was gonna have a lot of people, a lot of people missed today. So we're only having one, me and Molly going one on one right now, but she's doing that icky shuffle. She's one of the most improved players we've had in the last three months, me and her have been working together. Now she's smoking all the boys. They don't even stand a chance. All right, let's do it. Just going through our ladder drills and we actually had another player show up. And so I record these clips for this, but also just so I can show them. So we actually go back in slow motion and I can show them how they need to keep their chest up, drop their hips, and it makes it a really nice teaching tool. And then we actually just jump over to the boxes where they're gonna be working on several different drills. So this is just, again, shifting the weight, and then they're gonna work on getting all the weight over the box and all the way on the other side, again, going with shifting the weight. And then the last one is just gonna be transferring the weight onto both feet and being quick with it. So those are the couple drills that we did for SAQ this evening. Just got done with SAQ, so it's about five o'clock right now. Now the kids are getting ready, warming up shooting like they always do before practice and we'll get going in the next oh sun's pretty bad there uh we'll get the su uh practice going here in the next 10 minutes so i say so a lot don't i i need to work on that whoa i am such a wimp it is like 49 degrees out and i think i'm gonna freeze to death oh but now that I'm done complaining, awesome night at Amore. I had a great SAQ, had some SAQs after I uh, wasn't able to film it. I was just too busy with it. And also just like the consent of having kids on film is not always the easiest just to talk to all the parents. So we are done. This is meal number four, five, six. I don't know. Last one of the night, but I always like to end uh, my night with low carbs just because I'm going to bed here in the next hour or two probably. So I just don't like to eat a lot of carbs before I go to bed. You can, but just personally, I don't. So I'm actually gonna have three handfuls of that. I have enough for three handfuls for servings and that will put me right at like 2,750 calories and I'll hit all my macros and I'll list that up on the screen right now. So I'm gonna go home, do a little bit of reading, maybe do some research. I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. It's about 7.45, so I got like two hours before I go to bed because I'm an old man. I'm 90 in a 24 year old body. Another crazy night ending it in bed, but this time I have my nice robe on because it's freezing out there and I was chilled to the bone and I needed something to warm me up. But I've just finished up the evening. I'm working on my computer. Uh, I got on a profile, it's called Coach Up, and so I was just got accepted into everything. So I had a do like a little quiz. I had to um, just fill out the whole information and like just looking at other coaches and stuff right now. So that's how I end my evening. It's 10 o'clock here. So I am going to be going to bed after I do a little bit of reading and that will be a crazy night. Tell me what you guys like, don't like in the comments. And if you really did like it, press the like and subscribe if you haven't. Hope you guys have an awesome night. See you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,